What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you the best video converting software. Now the software I'm going to be showing you is known as Any Video Converter. So pretty straightforward and it's also very useful. It's the one I use myself. Now just before we go any further on how to use this software I'm going to show you something at the bottom right. It does say upgrade. Now I know I just said free however if I select the upgrade button you'll see the only difference with free and paid is with paid you'll be able to use DVD ripping, DVD menu templates and then you get uh, upgrades as well as email support. With the free version you can see you can convert any video format, download videos from 100 plus sites which I will get into and also edit like a pro, probably not like a pro but you can edit videos and you can also burn a video to a DVD. So this is the basic UI and it's really simple to get around. You can see the first thing it's asking us to either drag or add a video by selecting this button. So this is actually the second time I'm recording this video because the first time I recorded it was the wrong monitor that got recorded and also it recorded in FLV. That's not a problem with FLV because I could always convert it here and that's the video I'm going to be using as an example right now. So here is the video. You can see it was recorded at that date, that time and it's an FLV file. I'm going to left click it and I'm going to open it up into here. So as you can see the video has been imported, it tells us it's 12 minutes, it tells us the format, it tells us the resolution as well as the frames per second. Over to the side we get more control of the sound, you can choose no audio if you don't want any audio or you can keep it as default which will then keep the audio in the video. Now next to it is subtitles, if you want to add subtitles, if you don't, by all means up to you. And then moving over to the side up here, I guess this is where it tells us we can be a pro in editing. You can see you can clip the item. So if I left click this, for example right here you want to start the video. So I'm at this point, you would select start point. You can see this has now trimmed it out. D or come here, DVD, let's say we want it to end here. Even we download can then videos press end point from YouTube. And you can YouTube. see this little section in blue is now the part that will be exported. Now I'm not going to leave it that way, I'm just going to press cancel, but that's how you use that part. Over to the side we can then add some effects to the video, as you can see we get basic uh, setup here, completely up to you whether or not you adjust it. Casual savage here. Now the button next to it is a convert this item now, but before we do that we're going to go over a few more things. So the first thing is changing how we want this to be formatted. So up here you can see it says customize mp4 movie, so this is where you're going to select the output file version. So I'm going to select this and as you can see we then get a bunch of different presets here. Now that's not all of them, over to the side you can see everything we now have. So you may be familiar with most of these icons here and basically for example if I select on Apple products you can see we can then convert a video which is going to be suitable for an iPhone X, iPhone 7 Plus and you get the point. So you could essentially drag and drop these converted videos directly to your Apple device. Of course also for Android and then also for other mobile phones and also LG TVs, PlayStation etc. You can play around with these different settings. Now for me I'm going to be converting to my computer so I'm going to select this video files right here. Now I want mine as an mp4 so I'm going to come all the way down and as you can see we get all of these options. These are probably the main options you will also be dealing with and for me like I said mp4 is the one I'm going to be using. Now we've selected our output file version we can then come over here to the right where it says basic settings. So this is the file name. Now what do you want to call the output version? I'm just going to call mine output just to keep it simple for this tutorial. Then we have the output folder this is where the video is going to be saved. By default any video converter will create a folder where the videos will be saved so you can keep it there if you would like to, I will be. Then we have the clip duration so that's how long it is. Then we get the start and stop time so if you did clip anything earlier on you can either enter it directly here. Then the video size so this is the resolution I do recommend keeping it at original there's no point uh, rescaling it to a smaller size and there's no point if you have recorded in 1920 by 1080 to go up to 4k. If you record it in 4K, then keep it in 4K. But if you've done anything below 4K, there is no point going to 4K. Now, just to make sure we are being on the safe side, I'm going to come back here and I'm going to select 1280 by 720. So you can see it is right here. And the reason I'm picking 1280 by 720 because this video up here is 1280 by 720. Now, underneath we get quality. Now, you pick the quality. Of course, the lower quality, the smaller the file. The higher quality, the larger the file. 
Me personally, the file does not bother me, but I know some people do struggle with file size, so it's up to you which one you pick and how much uh, storage you have left. Below that we then get video options, again I do recommend keeping these default, no point changing them. Video aspect, I do recommend you leave that 16x9, the reason for that, if you choose 4x3, you'll then have black bars on the side of your video. And the final option is audio option. Again, I do recommend leaving this by default. You can, by all means, mess around to how you would like it. So once you're happy with everything, all the settings, you're happy with the video you selected, you can see you can play it through here and test it out. Then the final thing to do is select convert now. So right now it's going to convert. Like I mentioned, this is a 12 minute video and it was recorded in an FLV, FLV format by mistake. However, you'll see right now, you can see it's taken just under five minutes to convert the video. Now there's three things that can affect the time it takes to convert. Number one, your specs on your computer. Number two, the length of the video. And number three, the file size of the video. So of course, if the video is longer, then it's gonna be a higher file size. Or if the video was recorded, let's say 4K, the file size is going to be huge. Now you can see the video has finished converting and that's how simple it is to convert a video using this software. Now I'll also show you the other feature that comes with this program, which is downloading videos directly from YouTube, but also it offers a lot of other sites as well. Okay, so what you would do is select add URL. Then you'll see at the bottom, it shows you the main places where you can download videos from. However, there are multiple more. So if you select more sites, it will show you a bunch of different sites where you can download videos. Now for the example, I'm gonna be downloading my own YouTube video, which was the latest video. And all I'm gonna do is press control V since I already have the URL. Then you can see the URL will appear here and then I would select start download. Just like that, that video is now going to download. This video, I believe, was eight minutes long, and this will depend on your internet connection and how fast this will download. Now, as you can see, the video is downloaded, and you can see it was eight minutes long. It was very quick to download, and it is done. To open it up, you just right-click it, open source file location, and as you can see, the video is right here.